I'm Steve Vadi from Model Railroader Magazine, and today we're going to take a look at this new train set from Walther's Train Line. It's their Railtech Digital Train Set, which is an easy introduction to digital command control. The set comes with a 36 by 54 inch oval of Bachmann Easy Track. This Walther's Train Line Railtech Digital Command Control base station, a DCC decoder equipped diesel locomotive, three freight cars, and a caboose. The set also includes this World's Greatest Hobby DVD with video tips and pointers on getting started in the hobby. The track that comes in the set is Bachman Easy Track and uh, like the name says it really is easy to attach. It has the plastic clip on uh, each end and on the bottom a notch for the clip to fit into. So all you need to do to assemble it is to line up the two clips, make sure that the rail joiners are underneath the web of the rail and push them together. The oval is made up of 12 curved segments and four straights. Now one of the curved sections is this terminal re-railer and uh, what this does is it allows you to put the car's wheels onto the rails easily and also this is the point at which you attach the wires to your control pack. Now let's take a look at the Railtech DCC controller. Now the Walther's Railtech base station is really easy to set up. You don't even need any tools. Uh, right on the back uh, we've got two push button terminals for the wires that lead to the track. All you have to do is push the button, insert the wires, and release and it holds them securely. Then we plug the wires into the terminal re-railer. Next we'll plug the included power adapter into its jack in the back of the controller and plug the adapter into the wall. Now we'll take a look at some of the features of the Railtech system. It's got six buttons that allow you to program and address six locomotives simultaneously. So the system can actually control multiple locomotives on the same section of track. This locomotive is programmed to the default address of three, which is why button three is lit on the controller. The other buttons on the controller turn the headline on and off, trigger the bell, A blast of the horn, the coupler clank sound, and a talking defect detector. And you'll hear the engine sounds ramp up as I increase the speed of the locomotive. Now the sound is not coming from the diesel itself. The sound effects are actually generated by speakers on the bottom of the uh, controller. If you take the uh, locomotive off of the track, you still have your, uh, still have your sound effects. Uh, that means that uh, you can get sound effects when you're running any uh, digital command control equipped diesel on this layout, even if it's not uh, sound equipped. There are two different diesel sound schemes that you can choose from. Um, as well as two different bell sounds and two different horn sounds. You can program each one to a different uh, locomotive selection button. The set comes with a 50-foot uh, plug door boxcar, a gondola, and a flat car in addition to the caboose. And the freight cars are equipped with KD compatible magnetic knuckle couplers, which means that they'll work with most other cars that you could buy out there on the market when you're ready to expand your set. Now putting the cars on the track is fairly easy using the terminal re-railer. You just slide them along the notches and the re-railer grabs the wheels and puts them on the rails. Now that we've got the cars all together on the track, let's take it for a spin.
Well, there you have it. The Walther's Trainline Railtech Digital Train Set. With digital command control and sound, it's a fun and easy way to get into model railroading.